What do you think about the Tic Tac UFO that uh, David Fravor and others have cited? That's a you know a truly anomalous experience. Um, I can't I can't do like mental models in my head to find potential solutions to discredit that right like as much as i try right just as a logical process as a practice i can't i can't pick it apart in in the way that we were just talking about a moment ago about you know thousands of drones being like sent up in very tricky manners right i I can't really bring myself to a clever solution that you know other than just saying the pilots are lying or it was error you know and i believe you know i I know dave fravor you know i consider him a friend we talk a lot um i have zero zero reason to disbelieve anything he says yeah, I agree with you. Uh, but in terms of the actual UFO, is there something anomalous and interesting to you about that particular case? Maybe um, one interesting aspect there is how much do I understand about the um, water surface and underwater aspects of these UFOs? It seems like a lot of the discussions about is about the movement of a, this particular thing that seems to be weird, anomalous, seems to defy physics. But what about stuff that's happening underwater? That's interesting to me. If I had advanced technology, I would certainly like to operate in part underwater because you can hide a lot of stuff there. Mm-hmm. You think it would be somewhat as easy as traveling through interstellar space at least, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I wish I had a great answer for that, but as an aviator, that's a kind of a, a black box for us. You know, we don't have great, what I would call cross domain tracking, right? I can't mm-hmm. see something go underwater and then follow it underwater. So it's literally not your domain, like underwater, yeah. like leave that for somebody else. Yeah, okay. and you know, I, I, I use that terminology because it's, it's kind of important, right? Um, cross domain tracking uh, is something that we haven't had to necessarily worry about, right? Because right. airplanes operated in the air and submarines <laughs> yes. operated in underwater and space planes operated in space, right? But you know, there's going to be, you know, that's going to blur, I think, as as we move along here, especially in the air and space regime. Uh, and being able to perhaps transition my radar contact at 40,000 feet to another radar system that can track it up to 200,000 feet, you know, that might be a value. And so we, we seem to be missing that right now. 